Daniel Childs, Rumbling Man here, coming to you live from a hotel room in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. I'm out on tour. My buddy Paul is in the other bed watching a movie, and I'm chilling loose. I want to talk about a little something today. Something I picked up last tour. Here's the thing. <clears throat> preamps, right? A, a preamp or a pedal that acts like a preamp. What can they do for your bass? Well, if you're playing an active bass, like my Schecter Stiletto Extreme 4 that has bass and treble boost and cut controls on it, I don't see why you'd want one. However, if you're playing a, a passive bass, particularly a jazz bass, it could do a lot for you. For instance, let's say you're playing a P bass and you love the thump you're getting, but you want to play a little slap. Well, if you have some kind of preamp pedal like this um, and, and you, you boost some treble, then you're going to get some tones that you can use for slap. Or let's say you're playing a jazz bass, which is what I've got with me here in the hotel room tonight, and uh, you're loving the tone and the definition you're getting, but you're, um, you're not getting that thud. Well, you're going to want something that you can boost some, uh, some bottom end with and some drive, right? And so uh, I was planning on getting the Aguilar Tone Hammer, but it's expensive, so I got this. This is the Full Tone Fat Boost, Model 3, FB3. Whoosh. Don't let the silver amaze you too much. You know what, though? Yeah, go ahead. Let the silver amaze you. What have we got well, here? This is not necessarily a preamp, but it's a pedal that really does act as a preamp. Runs on a 9-volt uh, battery, sorry. And uh, can also be charged with a uh, adapter, but ad the adapter did not come with it. Uh, we got bass and treble controls, so um, that's something that on a passive pay on a passive bass, like a regular P bass or jazz bass, you're not going to have it on the bass. You can have it on here to run it into your amp or to run it into recording. I've done some recording with this and it went great. I've also got a volume, so you're going to be able to boost volume. And, uh, and drive. And with the combination of these four knobs, um, the kind of sounds you can get are amazing. And you can, you can just run this through your pedal chain, or if you, if you don't run through... You all right, man? My buddy Paul's laughing because he's watching a funny movie. Um, you run this through your pedal train, or just if you... Really, if you, if you only use one pedal for bass, which you step on it and you got those sounds. I can get a range of sounds with this, and I highly, I highly think that if you're wanting to play a jazz bass, if you're wanting to go with a jazz bass, um, I really think that something like this can help you um, with your sounds. Um, because I've been playing my jazz bass for a while. I've recorded with jazz bass naked into the system. And honestly, when I record uh, in a rock setting, in a studio setting, if I'm going to run a bass straight into a system, I'm, it's probably going to be a P bass because the P bass has that kick to it. Um, but I think this can really help your tones with a precision bass or a jazz bass. I don't have a P bass here to uh, to run to run into this with, but uh, I've got a jazz bass with me. Um, I don't know everything about this this pedal, but I know a few things about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you. Um, I'm going to plug it up and, and just kind of show you some of the sounds you can get with a pedal like this. And uh, again, you have my Rumble Man recommendation on the uh, Full Tone Fat Boost 3. Um, in the store, I, I first plugged a uh, Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Bass into it, which is actually a really cool jazz bass by Squire. And I was amazed by what it did with the tone. So I'm going to plug my American Standard Jazz Bass into it, and let's see what kind of cool sounds we could come up with tonight. What I'm going to do here is... Um, I'm going to play uh, three different styles of playing, picked, slapped, and uh, finger funk. And um, I'm going to play it once without the fat boost, and then once with the fat boost.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>